So the first thing that I want to do is get the lunch started and that way I have food for tomorrow when we have the children over. So I'm using various things in my pantry and I am making chili. So I'm not going to go into the full detail of this because I do this all the time. But for Christmas, I made this amazing chili mix. It's absolutely the best. So I really, really like it. And I will not be buying chili mix anymore. Various cans of different beans, home canned beans. And I just throw everything together and let it cook in this slow cooker. And I also have some of my tomato juice, which is amazing. And that's what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and make this clean the dishes. Let's get the kitchen cleaned up a little bit before I go and start something big, major project for me for today. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I love about home canning is you can wash them over and over again and it doesn't cost you any more money so I will be here at the kitchen sink for a good 35 minutes I'm gonna speed this up get this all done then we can go out and finish the next project see you in a little bit All right, I am still working on this area. So this is all of my different flour and I'm going to put it in the cupboard here. So this is only for baking. So I'm going to have my bread machine on top. This holds a lot of things. So all of these pre-mixes will go in here as well. Now all of these pre-mixes that I made is going to go on the shelf. There is a little drawer here and I can put that on the shelf. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So it's on rollers and it easily rolls from side to side. So I'm able to get my food out of here just by rolling it for a second. The food behind it is food that is the newest food. So I'm trying to use up all the older food anyhow. So this works out perfect for now. I'm gonna do a little more organizing and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. I really like how everything turned out. So this is an area I can come out here, start my bread machine, and then I can go and work on my other things. I really don't like having so many appliances in my kitchen because my kitchen is very small and I have a lot of things. So this way I can come out here, turn this on, and then go ahead and start working on my other things. Also, I have everything set up here where all of my bread and sugar and stuff like that is going to go here. So that is what it looks like for now. And then what I can do is I can just roll the cart whenever I need to, to get behind it. It's so simple. It only takes a minute to roll it. So it's really simple to use and to navigate. And it's great for my bread machine. All right. I still have a little bit I have to work on yet, but I love the way it turned out. Very functional and I'll be able to use it every single day just about.
Well, everyone, my morning is finished. Now I gotta put all these jars in my basket and take it out. I am going to be making an apple pie later on this afternoon. And if I remember, I'll show you the photo of that. It's simple. It's my apple pie filling. My apple pie topping, which is shelf stable, which I've done many videos on that. I'll share that at the end of this one. And an apple pie crust. Very simple. One of the things that I love the most about having my own pantry is I don't have to run to the grocery store to buy little bits of things. I pretty much have a full grocery store in my own home. As the food gets rotated, I'm able to write down what foods I like to keep canning and what foods I would never can again. About a year ago, there was a big challenge with people. They were making videos on what they would never can again. Honestly, I would can everything pretty much again except for the noodles. That was horrible. <laughs> but there are certain foods that we don't eat a whole lot of, and I have enough apples canned now for a good two years. And I'll tell you what, this was the best pie. When you buy the store-bought pies, it just doesn't taste anything quite like homemade. I have a little freezer that I keep my food. Of course, I have a freezer on top of my refrigerators, but I'm talking about a little one of them chest freezers. It's the tiniest one they make. And I had all of these pie shells. They were on sale, three for a dollar. And the pie shells are really good. Of course, it's not quite like homemade. And my mom would have never bought a pie shell, even if it was 33 cents. And I do like to make my own pie shells, but I'm using up stuff in my freezer because I want to have that totally cleaned out by this summer so I have a little bit of work yet to do if you're interested in all of these videos so this is the most amazing cobbler top so you can use this on top of cobblers on muffins on pies and you want the pie filling recipe I will share that in my videos in the I cards at the end of this one also if you are interested in that little cart it's called the rolling island I'll share that link in the description box below as well so thank you everyone for watching today's video. I hope that you're having a great Sunday and I can't wait to see you tomorrow and that will be another Cheat Meal Monday. And take care, God bless, and we'll see you guys real soon. As I'm sitting here this morning editing this video so you get it tonight, I'm fascinated about the things that I do that I don't realize. And lately, when I edit my videos, I've been hearing myself singing and humming in the kitchen. And I'll show you that in a minute. Normally, I edit it out, but it just reminds me so much of my mother. My mother did not have a singing voice, but she was always humming and singing in the kitchen. My goodness, I'd give everything I had today just to hear her sing one more time. Mm-hmm.